What's up guys, how are you guys doing? Today we are doing a day in my life in Romania. I hope you enjoy the video. It is 5.30 here in Romania. That's when I get up. Let's go downstairs and get started with our day. This is some homemade jam my dad made. Peanut butter, some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And Believe it or not, it's still dark. It's only 6.30. I'm not accustomed to such a dark 6.30, if you understand. I've lived in Ecuador most of them, or at least half my life, and so the sun's usually up by now. Not in Romania um, in the month of September. But despite that, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go for my run, because I have like a run, a workout session for about 30 minutes today. So let's go ahead and get ready for that. Looks a little bit brighter out here now. It's pretty nice. Just general Romania in the morning. Let's go for a run. I think I'm ready. Well, at least I think so, I hope. Sometimes I can get pretty tired pretty quickly and running with a camera isn't so easy. Well, it's okay. Some solar. A lot of people invest in solar here. There's some more. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's some more. Anyways, let's get back to running. Okay, I'm back. It's just a quick run. You just enough to maybe break a slight sweat, that's all. But after that, I do about 50 push ups. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's 50 altogether. Uh, 30 and then another 20 after that after a short break uh, just you know a couple seconds just to get my get my muscles a time to relax I'm not a I'm not a workout guru or something like that so everybody who's saying oh I did a hundred push-ups or something like that I, I don't really care anyways we just did the physical strength now to the mental strength we read about 30 minutes I'm trying to read in Spanish Let's get going with that. Okay, so these are the books that I'm currently reading. Uh, I'm trying to read more in Spanish. And this is the book I'm reading, Los Leaders Comen al Final. ¿Por qué, qué, por qué algunos equipos funcionan bien y otros no? When, well, I was going to start speaking in Spanish. But I'm reading that. Um, page 79. And of course, I'm also working on Romanian. I've got a story from Ronald Dale. It's important to start with kids' stories when you're just learning. A series of unfortunate events, but that's too hard. And then I'll be reading something about this. Yeah, I know, psychology, whatever. Whatever you guys are thinking. And then, yes, this is in Spanish, a Catholic Bible. Um, I'm not Catholic. Just in case you were wondering, I'm not Catholic. But it's the only Bible I could find in Spanish couldn't find a Jewish one. So, it looks like I'm stuck with the Catholic Bible for now. But hey, I can read it in Spanish, so 
good. Now it's time to go ahead and get to learning some Romanian. There's a couple things we do here. Of course, I use Google Translate. Uh, let's change this to Romanian. We're learning Romanian right now, not uh, Spanish. Of course, we're still learning that. We also use Duolingo. And I do have a course on Udemy, but I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, of course, I also have some books, as I showed you guys before. Um, these two, or these three books right here. I'm starting on this. If you have the vocabulary of a two-year-old, three-year-old, in a certain language, you should start with books that they're gonna read. Uh, you know, two-year-old, three-year-old, actually, you know, whatever. Anyways, um, you should probably try to read those books and not try to read something complicated. People are like, oh, I don't want to read, read a kiddish book. Well, yeah. you kind of have a kid, kiddish level if you think about it. So, yeah, Ronald Down reading a kid's book. Anyways, <clears throat> I'll be finishing up this section today. And this is the section, second section, Unit 2 in Duolingo. That's going to be good. And I'll be working on greeting people, so that'll be cool. So this right here, for example, I need, uh, don't, don't talk about my writing. It's terrible, I know. I, re, uh, I need um, nevoye. I think we say something like that. I'm nevoye o machina, like a car. I need a car. I'm nevoye o machina. So we could say something like that. Um, of course, there are more things I've not been learning a lot, but you know, here and there, I have an hour. So, um, also trying to work with verbs. So, like you can see here, I read yo jitesk, you read um, jiteshte, something like that. I, I, the the forms is um, it can be a little complicating for me, but I'm, I'm working on that. So then there's also the plural you, so you have to conf you have to get those unconfused, and that's kind of hard to, f to put in the Google Translator to figure out which one is the plural you and which one is the single you, you so that's kind of hard as well. But anyways, that's what I'm going to be doing for right now, so for an hour I'm just going to sit down here and try to figure out some stuff, then I have a break. If it doesn't continue raining, I may consider going out and maybe shooting some shots on, on camera, see what we can see what we can find. Well, it looks like it's still raining, guys. <laughs> Sadly. I'll just be taking my break here, you know. Uh, I was gonna go walk around down some streets and show you guys some things, but I don't like getting wet. I'm gonna finish my break and then I'll be back to work and hopefully I have another break afterwards and we'll be going to take you around some other place if it stops raining, fingers crossed. So I finished actually with the, the, the my work for today. At least I don't have any more classes. I have other things I'm doing, uh, whether it's working with the business, and we're going to be showing you that in a bit. But now we're off to uh, buy some things, and I'm going to bring you along. Uh, one thing I want to say is when you're going shopping or doing anything, or buying groceries, etc., you should always bring like a shopping bag. Or of course you can buy them, but you need to know that that they don't have just plastic bags, it's, you know, that you can uh, get there at the store. Or if they do, you have to buy them. So. It's best always to to have shopping bags, you know, reusable shopping bags. They do it for environmental reasons. It's kind of a rule of the uh, EU. Any EU country is like that. So, yeah, just thought you should know that. Okay, let's go. So we're approaching the store, um, which is, I think it's called like Ocean, Ocean, or something like that. I think they pronounce it that way. But you know, us, as us as being Americans, you know, we like to make up slightly our own names. So we call it like Aachen's, um, or Aachen. And then, you know, people like me like to even take it even further um, and call it Auckland's. How it got that name? I have no idea how I got that from that. I have no idea. But anyways, that's what we call it. As you can tell, I'm here in um, Ocean. I'm gonna try to say it the correct way. Uh, not the incorrect way, it just looks like a general store here. I'm someone who kind of really loves the fruit. That's just generally me. 
so I'll put that down there. Of course, I'm a really big apple lover, so I'll also get some uh, bag of apples as well. They say eight lay, which I think is approximately, is it like, am I wrong? Is it like two dollars, I think, or something like that? I'm not sure. I should be better at conversion from dollars to, to lay, but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm terrible. And you know, right now it looks like I'm eating pretty healthy, you know, grapes, apples, looks pretty good. But of course, it's only for the video. Now, I would usually just get some chips. <laughs> okay, well, I do love the fruit and the apples in general, generally. But sometimes here and there I do get chips and stuff as well. So I'm not the most healthiest person ever. We'll get a little bit more fruit, um, some plums. Of course, I'm always liking some plums. And one thing I've been doing recently is getting like some energy bars and then when I'm really hungry at times, through work, I'll just like basically munch on some of those, so that works really well for me. So I'll get one or two more. Yeah, no, I get a lot. Man, this makes me miss my bees from Ecuador when I used to do beekeeping. I'll have to get into that in the future if I can. I'm obviously I could do bees in Romania. Um, I'm just not out in the countryside to do so. Oh, look, pollen. So I'm back actually. Uh, the plums, the grapes. Um, the bars, there were actually six of them. I already ate two, <laughs> not too good. Um, and then the apples, of course I did eat some of those as well. That was pretty cheap, I think um, I kind of crumbled that up, so anyways, I don't know the price. Men don't even pay attention to the price anyways nowadays. Okay, well I just actually looked it up um, and found out that the price is actually just under nine dollars, or I'm sorry, ten dollars. So that's pretty good. So now I got some programming to do, and let's get started with that because I'm already late. Five minutes late. So I just finished actually coding a little bit. I didn't get the situation that I was working with fixed. Anyways. Uh, we now have digital products to make. I'm building some digital products for our um, company, uh, Lingua High, which uh, will be launching that soon in the future. Uh, really soon, actually. Maybe by the end of this month, it'll be launched. Anyway, so we're going to be making uh, a video for that, actually, in, uh, in today, right now. So, got to go film that. So I took a few minutes, actually, cleaned off my desk, or actually basically an hour, just to get all this organized. I printed out all my digital products for the first, first book I built, you know. I just built some things like, you know, uh, basically worksheets for Magic Treehouse, if you're feeling familiar with that. We're building digital products for kids uh, so that uh, teachers and homeschooler or parents can use them in their lesson planning, etc. And so we have flashcards, you know, uh, some pop quiz questions, and a worksheet, of course, with the answer key and the worksheet for the student. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do with my digital products. I just filmed them, etc. I'm going to try to look at some of the footage real quick and maybe try to see if I can do something with editing it. Uh, maybe looking at some of the images, seeing which images work well and putting them on, getting ready to put them on my product. Of course, we'll have to see how that works. And I have one hour to do stuff, get ready, and then I have a Spanish class actually, actually with a friend, really nice friend, and we're gonna see him in a bit. So, see you in a little bit. Hi, so I'm here in class now with one of my friends, uh, language partners, basically he helps me um, improve my Spanish and I help him improve his English. Enrique, maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, where you live, etc. How long have you been practicing English? Uh, yes, I am from Mexico. And how long I've been practicing English? Probably like 2017, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 2018. Actually, I was going to say, you know, your accent's like perfect. I almost say like he has an American accent almost. To some extent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, you know, like hanging out with you a lot might maybe help a lot. Pues, like, mi, mi acento es muy fuerte. Pues no puedo hablar muy bien en español, pero es suficiente. Pues, pero eso es lo que hacemos. Hablamos y conversamos. Sí, sí, eso es como practicamos nuestro, eh, nuestro, nuestro idiomas y mejoramos. Sí, tienes algo más sí, para exacto. decir. Ajá. Sí, no, que tu acento en español se entiende muy bien. O sea, pues es fuerte. estás mejorando bastante. Sí, desde que te conozco, desde octubre del año pasado. Sí. Eh, tu acento ha mejorado, tu acento y sí. tu habla ha mejorado bastante. Ah, gracias. Sí. Pues, 
well, I'm going to continue uh, class with Enrique, but I'll see you guys in a bit. You guys take care. Bye. Bye. So I hope you enjoyed that video. This is actually the day um, I'm filming this on the same day as the very first clip I filmed. Um, which is actually like a week after of all the other footage in the middle. But yeah, that's kind of my day in the life. I know it's a lot more about like what I'm doing, not so much about what we're doing in Romania. And there's going to be some more videos coming up on that. Just don't worry. But we'll, we'll get to you. Uh, maybe we're going to be doing some videos in the flea market. I would like to get out in the countryside. Maybe if we can rent a car, uh, maybe drive around and look at some property. Eventually that's going to be something coming up. Not right away. We don't have plans for that. But anyways, that's it. I'll just continue posting. And see you guys in the next video.